Hey everybody, today we are gonna to learn how to create a blueprint so that you can play a level sequence. I've been working on my environment and I added this church. And let's say you wanna do a really cool drone shot like this. Well, I tapped T on my keyboard and that played that sequence and I wanna show you today how to set that up. By the way, I'm using my keyboard in this example, but I also made a video for you guys right here on how to use a stream deck. And I would recommend for virtual production or VTubing that you consider getting a stream deck because that way you can put all these sequences on buttons and use icons. All right, let's dive in. So as you can see right here, I have created a cinematic sequence and I made a short on how to do this. So if you haven't watched that, give that short a watch. So I made a new sequence right here. This is drone shot number two. And since I'm gonna show you guys how to create a sequence, player, let's jump into the blueprint and show you how I would kick that one off. So I'm going to open the level blueprint. And this right here is the blueprint we are going to create. And I'm going to walk you through that right below here. The first thing we need to do is create a new variable. And the variable is created because we need to define which sequence we're going to play. So I'll just click on plus, And then I'll call this my sequence two. Now to define what type of variable that is, click the little drop down menu and type level sequence. You'll notice when you click level sequence, there's one right here in gold. It's the third one down under object types and I'm just gonna choose that. Make sure that you open the eye so it is visible. Now when you create a new variable, there are no properties over here on the right. So you do need to click on compile and then you can define what that variable points to. And in this case, we're gonna use this second drone shot, which you'll see in just a minute. Now that we've defined that variable, I'll click compile again and click save. Now, what key do I wanna use? Well, that's gonna be the first step. So I'm gonna click down here and type key board. And I'll come down and use Y. But like I said, I want you guys to consider getting a stream deck because that way you can kick off these sequences by using buttons on the stream deck. So now that we have what key is gonna work, we just slide over from pressed and we're gonna type create level sequence player. And you should see that show up. If you don't, turn off this checkbox and you'll see all the different types, but this is a nice time saver. Now what we need to do is choose play. And this is a really important tip. I don't know why it's this way, but it is. If I right click over here, instead of dragging off this node, and I type play level sequence, the right objects and types are not coming up. And so make sure that you drag off of this, and that way when you click play, you're gonna see this option to play the sequence player. So make sure that you drag off of there, and you'll see the right object. Now that you've done that, just line everything up by making everything nice and clean. And all we have left is to drag in our variable. So I'm gonna drag that right into the screen, choose get my sequence, plug it into here, click on compile and click on save. Well, we're missing something, so what is it? Well, we didn't attach get actor. Pull that down, attach it, compile again, click on save, and now you have it. Last step. Always nice to comment, so drag a box around, right click anywhere, type create comment, and we'll call this one play drone sequence two. We should be good to go, let's give it a test. I'll click on save and close her up. I'll hit play. Let's run up here from the bridge, open to the open area, take a look, and now let's first hit our original sequence by typing in T. Looks like I'll have to change my camera settings to get the resolution and coloring the same, but we'll do that another time. And now I'm gonna hit Y, and there is the second drone sequence. I will be making a video on the top 10 drone sequences that you should set up if you're doing cinematics. So if you haven't already, be sure to click on subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video.